Hello and welcome to day 26 of my journey to 2000 ELO. Today I had five games, uh, three wins, two losses. Let's go through the game. Let's see what I can do better tomorrow and in the coming days. So the first game was against this player from Mexico, Robert Q31. And here is how the game went. So let's move the webcam on the side and take a look at the game starting with the statistics so two inaccuracies one mistake one blunder 82 percent accuracy very happy with that let's take a look at the game so i went for i attempted to start a caracan then got a little bit confused and here comes the first blunder because i should have Okay, I should have moved my bishop backward. Um, so not to end up in that situation, I guess. Oh yeah, basically because the exchange was very bad in the middle. So in order to avoid that situation, I should have prevented the whole exchange by moving my bishop backward. Um, yeah, then basically I lost uh, material, so not that good. Here I kept pushing, he went for the rook, and I went for for the king. Then yeah, basically, actually there is, there is already, I can already see Something that I don't like here it says checkmate is now unavoidable. That means F King F1. So I'm not exactly sure how to interpret these sequences. <laughs> I'll definitely study afterwards. So here I went for the rook. I just decided to get some material. And here I lost a fourth checkmate sequence, which she, which was... Yeah, but then I lose... Ah, wait, wait, wait. I am on the bishop, so he takes... I promote I mean oh yeah well of course not exactly sure why why, why this is not checkmate Am I missing something? I think I am. I need to study how to interpret the stockfish output. So I went the easy way. I took the I took material to basically prevent um, prevent my opponent from it. Yeah from from getting ahead so he moved the king went there took the rook and then then i think he resigned yeah so checkmate is another one and this is the sequence Maybe that was also a very good idea <laughs> to sacrifice at least you get the, the rook and then you promote into a queen i didn't think of that anyway this was game game one and there was only one blunder and was yeah basically castling when i should have moved my bishop back and avoid this exchange in the middle entirely 
Yeah, and he made the mistake of going for the rook and allowing me to get yeah, there. So basically he got his queen trapped there in the corner and I started to yeah, basically take pieces. Game one, game two. Game two, 75% accuracy, one blunder, zero mistakes, zero inaccuracies. So looks good at least according to the numbers. Um, scotch game, blunder. So that's, oh, I should have, I thought about it, but I was like unsure about, um, yeah, about the whole process. Um, I mm -mm. wasn't sure that was the way to move forward and then basically yeah basically here I think he realized that I can take take I mean yeah it would have been a mess so he resigned and the only blunder was was the one here mm, yeah good so whenever there is an opportunity push forward attack the knight mm -hmm. good game two game three let's see game three game three two inaccuracies three blunders 81 percent accuracy that's good still may still a very good accuracy uh the blunders are three my goal is usually below three and four that's the goal uh, unfortunately this game didn't go my way but um but at least the numbers look good probably the number of blunders were too high and uh, i pay for it okay so here i am pretty sure i should have took oh no say no Develop the knight. Yeah. Okay. So knight, bishop, trade. Uh, yeah. And then I think there is another blunder somewhere. Oh, that's, a, that's an inaccuracy because it would have been better to move the rook, okay, before I before I do anything stupid, move the rook. And here comes my second blunder because, okay, still move the rook. And then another blunder because it's better to go there. Course, tag, and yeah, I missed that. That would have been a good move. Yeah, and basically here I got, I got um, trapped basically, yeah, it was not a good move for me, and I, I resigned because, well because it, it was <laughs> no, um, no benefit in keep going, um, no educational value, so it was better to just, um, move on and take a look at this at this data so the big mistakes i would say there was not a big mistake but um but the development was a little bit messy uh, for example the bishop there in, before the knight and then i ended up in this weird situation where yeah where i lose too many pieces and they are in a weird positions my pieces Mm. Yeah, the center was entirely ah, and of course, of course, I blundered the queen. Mm. That 
was a big mistake. I yeah probably the reason why I lost the game <laughs> the real reason so that was game three game four game four was um, was a game with 66 percent accuracy two blunders two inaccuracies so very bad game and uh, yeah that basically showed that I, somehow I do a couple of games uh, good and then a couple of games I play them poorly and so I go like up and down, my elo goes up and down and yeah, it fluctuates around, uh, right now I'm at around 800. Um, if I should play every every day in the morning when I'm fresh and ready to go, probably would be around 850, but uh, there is still a lot of uh, things that I need to improve to get back to 900. I'm working on it, let's see when day 30 arrives where I'm at. So for the moment, that's the, that's the ELO. Let's take a look at the two blunders. Let's see, so. Mm, oh, that was, that was a blunder and it was a blunder because I should have took with the other pawn. Okay, I'll make sure that he cannot tag there. Only he had only one pawn that he could attack, and he would lose the the knight, I guess. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. I think this was a crucial, a crucial uh, mistake. Yeah. Because then I open all this side and that side was under attack. So yeah, basically I allow the knight and the queen to look at the same pawn and potentially trade queens or even worse, look at the king. So yeah, which is basically what happened. And um, yeah, basically here I got Trapped. Oh, interesting. So it would have been better to just make sure that the queen cannot escape, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it can only go up. There it's lost. Here it's lost. Actually, then I can move my queen. Yeah. yeah, actually, that would have been a good move. And then maybe go here, take that. Oh, man. It's so easy to see the moves afterward. All right, so where were we? Here, okay. And basically went on to make a, a bunch of pull moves and yeah then I think right here I was like look at this position it's so messed up there is not that much that I can do about it makes no sense um, the big mistake was really just taking with this pawn, having this side entirely open and this side completely under attack. Yeah, I think that was a big mistake. Queen can go here and then infiltrate. With a pawn here, it would have been very hard to do that. So that's a good, good to know in the future with the queen on this side to make sure that the queen cannot sneak in from the side so that was game four then since i had uh, since i had two wins two losses i was like let's see if the trend is real let's have another game and that was game five here is game five accuracy 83 percent one blunder one mistake three inaccuracies so here is the game mm, i went for the center 
I knew the bishop was coming. I thought, let's have these two pawns here. But another mistake on the side, there is, yeah, the, the queen can always sneak in. So that was a mistake. And I should have moved the knight so that the queen cannot come in. And I can protect my pawns. And uh, yeah, trade. Yes. Instead, then the queen arrived, and actually, no, wait, wait. The queen arrived, and I want to see what would have been the best response for for me. Actually, let's see. The best response would be yeah to push the pawn. Plus zero eight, which is still not good. Then there is. Uh, to move the king or there is to move the king on that side on d7 or on d on e7 both very bad moves okay so i'm happy to see that that was a good move after a terrible move inaccuracy why is that Hmm. Yeah, but look at this position it's so well defended mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, basically here he resigned. He's actually not exactly entirely sure if that was a good move, but I saw that if he moves the here he cannot. There is these squares that are off limit. If he goes here, I can take the queen. If he goes there, I can move the bishop, and he has to move, and then. Yeah, basically has to go here and I can take the queen. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Oh, look at that. He could have postponed the inevitable with that move. Mm. Mm. So that was uh, that was game twenty six. Five games, two very bad games, and uh, three okay games. There is a lot of room for for improvement. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm really excited to see what's next in the next uh, four four days. I'm gonna push really hard to to play some puzzles every day and see if I can improve a little bit my openings. It's um, I think is it's kind of key to to play puzzles and to have like one good opening at least so that when you when you start the game your pieces are not uh, immediately prey of the opponent. Um, and with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. See you tomorrow for day twenty seven.